Welcome to Jesse's Garage. I thought that I'd give you an insight into my uh, thought process when I'm fabricating something that's totally different than what you know the, the uh, manufacturer built. And in this case, we're putting the Ross HF54 power steering on it because I'd like for my wife to be able to drive my truck. And also, we're doing the Hydromax brake system which again is going to take much more room as far as space from the frame than the original master cylinder did. So I thought that I would just break you in on the process. Let's start off with um, the Ross HF54. On Steel Soldiers there's a, a guy and I hope I pronounced his, his um, avatar name right, uh, Gringletop in Central America that did a really good write-up on this, but it was for the M35, you know, the, the REO Kaiser Jeep. Of course, mine is the GMC M135, so it's got a slightly different frame, so it has slightly different problems. With the um, M35, he was you're able to mount it closer to the radiator. We don't have that option because of how big this engine is compared to what was here and the fact that there is a cutout for a little bit more axle travel whereas the M35 is pretty straight. So I built a little template here. This is my nice lightweight wood HF54 so that I could sit there and I could place it on the frame and I can move it and see where I've got interference or not. I also marked it at the point where um, I have 16 inches of um, drag link room which is um, what Gringletop used and um, he suggested keeping it as long as possible. So that being the case I can move it back some but I don't want to move it forward anymore. So I put a mark on the frame, and also on my handy dandy um, wood template, I've got a mark for straight up and down, which is which is actually it's a 30 degree slant, but you know straight uh, 90 degrees to the ground mark. So I can line it up to that mark, and then I know I can go back and forth. Now you notice these big M135. Um, suspension pieces here. They're going to go away because I'm going to be going with the M35. Why not use the lighter stuff because the M30, M35 is actually lighter than all this contraption here. Okay. Now, in my previous video I showed you where the guys who were doing the sewer repairs at my house helped me to drop this in so I just, I just fab these up. Yes, the welds are ugly, I know, and it's only temporary anyway. But, this is to show you that I've got a little bit of a problem here. I told you in the last video that I wanted to run the, um, the floor pedals and I'm still fighting that. So as you can tell that's a little bit up and down and I have no travel whatsoever for the brake pedal. Okay, So that means that I'm going to have to sit there and drop this down, drop this mount, and drop it lower, so that I have so that I have the travel I need, and it'll probably end up being around here for the um, the lower part of the flywheel housing rear mount. Also, um, when we go to the other side, I'm going to show you that we we got a slight slope problem, and um, and that's also going to be taken into consideration when we um, do the mount. So we'll go to the other side now. Okay, so as you can see by my very precise piece of plastic tubing here, that we're going to run into a little bit of problem with our transfer by the time we get to our transfer case. Okay? So, you know, yeah, 
it's 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 cheesy, but it, it does help to help to, to place things. So that's why I told you we need to we're going to go down on the backside more on this. Okay. Also, you know it's really nice when you have um, some remodeling being done because you're le you're left with a whole bunch of wood that's easy to chop up that you know you can visualize things. As you can see, I've got this eight-inch piece of wood. And that's what it's going to take to mount this Hydromax master cylinder and the um, booster. But just to show you, it's going to take every bit of this. So I'm going to have to use the offset cle clevis and possibly, you know, move where the arm is to make it to make the um, to make the rod, you know, attached to it. So. Anyway, I just thought that I would show you these things since, you know, we're in the planning stages right now. But this is, you know, being able to make little mock-ups and everything before you start cutting. Because then you don't remake, you don't remake another piece. So, you know, a piece of wood, you can throw it away. It doesn't work. But a piece of metal, after you've welded it and you spent your time on it and it doesn't work, that's a bad feeling. So anyway, I just thought I'd, I'd, I'd run this by you. And um, hopefully, you know, next video, we've got this stuff mapped out. My major project for now is to finalize the mounts and then hopefully get the transmission up. So until then, have fun. Like and subscribe. It helps me out. And it also, you know, brings my video up higher for other people to see. Thank you.